Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a Popeye's mukbang. Now, I haven't done a mukbang in a while because I haven't posted a video in a while. I don't know if you can hear what's happening right now. Literally, oh my god. I don't know what's wrong with me. I literally have the worst luck. This whole entire day, it's been nice, peaceful, quiet. This beautiful weather. Look at this. I'm sitting outside because I wanted a breath of fresh air. I literally haven't stepped foot outside of my house in at least like... 15 days or something but the second i step outside to eat my delicious meal these people like my neighbors hire a freaking i don't even know there's like a tornado going on next door like they're cutting down trees and shredding them so i connected my headphones so hopefully like this microphone is cutting out some of the sound anyways the main star of today's video is this popeyes oh you can only see the biscuits okay let me do like a beauty guru moment look at that popeyes chicken popeyes chicken is the best fried chicken in the world i got the five piece tender combo and here's the thing it comes with a biscuit also these biscuits oh my gosh i'll get into that later these biscuits usually you get one with the combo and i always get an extra one because of how freaking good they are but today they were having a two for one special so you know i had to get two and that basically means we have three biscuits today so this is gonna be a feast now for the drink mountain dew i'm feeling a bit electric i need some energy because i got a lot of schoolwork to do after this so i got some mountain dew Mm. I guess let's just get started with the chicken. Let's do an ASMR bite. I guess the plus to having this microphone now is that I can do some crunch bites. Okay, listen. Oh, that was not a good crunch. Hold on. What about this side? Man, is this chicken not crunchy? But it's still so good. Oh my god. Sorry, I got a little in the moment there. <laughs> this chicken is so good. I just cannot describe the way I feel when I eat it. I literally feel alive. I feel rebirthed. I feel replenished. Like I'm a new person. This chicken is so good. Popeye sponsored me. I'll take that sponsorship in a heartbeat. Literally so freaking good. So let's talk about some stuff. I am a college student and I'm a junior doing mechanical engineering, which is really freaking hard and you know my school went on to spring break and then during spring break everything just went crazy everyone started getting sick and everything so my college started like thinking about it like all these other colleges were closing down and moving online and then finally at the end of spring break my college did too so i get to stay home i didn't have to go back to college but it's a big but that means all of my classes are online now and literally i can't even begin to describe how bad of a decision this is mechanical engineering is literally so hard like hard enough on its own already in school but now moving that online where you have to teach yourself everything the professors don't communicate with you and just all this other crazy stuff it's not good it makes it 20 times harder and I think I can speak on this for like a bunch of other people. I don't know why this is happening, but once school went online, all these teachers and professors, not only in college, like in high school and stuff too, they thought it was a good idea to assign more work. Since when is that a good idea? Literally you have people dying right next to you and you're deciding to assign your students more work. Excuse me? That is not it. You need to reevaluate your life if that's how you're thinking. I'm currently drowning in work right now. Like, you don't even know how much work I have to be doing right now. I'm taking a big risk by eating this. I have to do a report for my heat transfer class, and then I have two labs that I have to complete and write a report on, and then I have three homework assignments to do, and I have two quizzes tomorrow, and then I have an exam, and then finals start soon, so... Oh, wait, that was a good crunch. Hold on, listen to this. Mm. Okay, but anyways, back to me talking about my depressive school life. Literally, I have so much work to do, and it's crazy. Okay, I think it's time to bite into one of these supple, beautiful biscuits. Look at that. That is so beautiful. It literally looks like the moon or something. Okay. These are my favorite bread out of any restaurant, fast food, homemade bread. This is it. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready for this. Oh my gosh, this bread 
is mind blowing. It's unbelievable. I don't understand how they make it. I literally tried finding a recipe online and making these ones and it did not work. I just have to resort to going back to Popeye's and getting these because this is just so good. I have so much work, but at the same time, I feel like I have a lot more free time on my hands, which literally does not make any sense. Like, how do you have more work, but more free time? I've been doing a lot of fun stuff. I think I should make a video on that, like what I've been doing during quarantine to like just relax and take my mind off things. Oh my gosh. There's a wasp over there. Guys, my number one fear is wasps. I cannot deal with wasps. If I see one, literally my heart stops. I don't know what it is. I think where my like fear of wasps originated is, I don't know if y'all remember, there used to be this TV show on TV called A Thousand Ways to Die. And it's literally like, as the name says, it's just a thousand ways to die. So every episode shows you a way you can die. And I think the first and last episode I ever saw was this guy like trying to cut down a wasp nest from a tree and then it falls down and breaks and all the wasps attack him and he dies. And I feel like that's where that underlying trauma comes from because now every time I step outside and I see a wasp, I bolt. I'm gone. Like this one's pretty far away so I'm okay for now but I'm like tensed up and my backyard has a lot of wasps. Like I see one almost every time I come out but if that thing gets closer to me, I'm literally gone. Like I'm sorry this video's over. I'm gonna have to leave. Disgusting! David Dobrik, if you're watching this, you better not be getting any ideas. Like if I ever meet you and you bring out wasps, I'm literally ending my life like that is not funny i also want to make a video showing y'all like a day in my life in quarantine and studying like how i do all my schoolwork and stuff i don't know if that would be a good idea honestly you guys should tell me like what kind of videos you want to see because i haven't posted in seven months as i've said so i don't know what y'all are interested in but give me some ideas it's not like i don't have any ideas like <laughs> I have lots of ideas, trust me. Tell me some ideas, please. I don't know what else to talk about. I feel like I'm talking so fast and eating so fast that I've already covered everything I need to cover, so I don't know what else to talk about. How's the weather where you guys are at? <laughs> The weather's pretty nice today. It's like 65 degrees, so it's pretty nice and cool. That's why I sat outside, because I need some nice air, and it's perfect weather for it. I mean, I guess I have nothing else to talk about. I'll just end the video. Like, I have two biscuits, and then one and a half chicken. <laughs> As I was saying, I have two biscuits and then one and a half chicken strips left. So I'm probably just gonna finish these while watching some YouTube videos and go back to my eternal demise of doing schoolwork and drowning in all of my assignments. On that note, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate everyone that's still watching after all of this time that I haven't posted. I'm just doing this for fun now. Like I'm not taking this seriously. I just wanna film a video whenever I wanna film a video and post it if I like it and just not feel a lot of pressure. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a nice I don't even know how long this quarantine's gonna last anymore so however long that lasts hope y'all are okay go get something good to eat like don't go out order it and have it delivered I guess that's it I'll see you next time Peace. I swear I'm telling y'all my luck in this world is probably the worst out of anyone I just turned off the camera to end this video and they stopped shredding